But one of the real emerging trends we've noticed in the US and the UK is stealth plates or ghost plates, which is um, people modifying their number plates to avoid law enforcement. I'm Chris Shepherd. I'm the Head of Products and Services for MAV Systems, a AMPR slash ALPR manufacturer based in the UK. MAV Systems was formed in the early 2000s, circa 2013. Great Britain has always been known as the home of AMPR. It's where it all started with the introduction of the IRA terrorism. AMPR was rolled out across the UK to address that issue. MAV Systems was formed as part of a spin-off from another company to create what is basically the best in breed AMPR and ALPR technology in the world. We've got a long heritage of manufacturing cameras and we've delivered over 50,000 worldwide in the last 10 years. We make everything in our own factory in the United Kingdom and we ship it around the world to all our customers and we bespoke and tailor it to their need. So we've brought to market our new AIQ camera, which is our new launch product from this year. It's a multi-lane, multi-faceted ALPR slash AMPR camera. It's based in a completely new architecture and it can read multiple lanes at five to 50 meters, do various other AI-based features such as make model color, moving traffic fences, band turns, band right turns. But one of the real emerging trends we've noticed in the US and the UK is stealth plates or ghost plates as we call them in the UK, which is um, people modifying their number plates to avoid law enforcement and also avoid tolling and other forms of road charging. What the AIQ can do is en masse live identify those plates at the roadside, read them correctly, but also tag them out to law enforcement to say these individuals are trying to evade the various forms of mechanisms out there to protect public safety. When we created the AIQ to empower people moving forwards was the most important thing for us. So what we've done is we've created a product set that has a universal platform base. It's all based on the Jets and NVIDIA platform and we create enough space on the device that our technology partners can add their own software and features on there to tailor it to their own need, but they get the cost benefit of having a bespoke mass produced product, but they can then tailor it to their unique market and need without having to pay that cost up front. But it means that the product is future ready rather than always previously what's been happened is we've kind of gone to market and said, you'll take the product that we have and that's all it'll do. Whereas now what we're saying to people is, here's a pre-made toolkit you play with it, adapt it and adjust it to what is your need. And that really prepares them for the future. They buy a single asset that they can diversify and use for a load of multifaceted responses in the ITS world. What we found is that road tolling or road charging, clean air zones, in certain areas we're noticing that when those areas come in, you can get up to a 40% population of stealth plates and ghost plates in that market. And when you transfer that into revenue for local bodies and poke bodies, that's no small amount that anyone wants to write off. And we all necessarily have a political position on road charging, but my position on it is far more that those people are avoiding road charging, yes, but they're also undermining the integrity of the law enforcement networks that are dealing with far more serious crimes like your murders, your drug dealing, your people trafficking. And just because people are avoiding those things doesn't mean they aren't doing something else as well. So we are offering the AIQ to our law enforcement and ITS partners across the world, available on loans and trials. And we'd love to see any of our law enforcement partners or ITS partners come and have a conversation with us and get the cameras up in the US and across the world and actually start to address some of the issues that are emerging.